Aloha. Here we are at the home gallery of Valida D'Alessio, and she is going to take us through her wonderful home and show us some of her special artwork. So, aloha to Valida. Aloha. Come to my home. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're entering in the special domain. Oh, and there's a special little cat. That's Baby. Oh, that's the cat's name is Baby? Cute. Adorable. You can already feel the peace and serenity as we walk in. Hi. Hi, Baby. Want to say something? Say aloha. Oh, thanks. So here we are in Belida's studio. Well, looking at her latest work, which is very exciting with the fish, got some wonderful warm colors in there. Why don't you describe it to us, Belida? Well, this is a Giataco a fish print, which I did and then cut out and put it into this collage. I take all different papers, some papers I got when I was in Japan, other, you know, papers are from wherever I've been and they're um, uh, rice papers incorporated with uh, mixed media, it's so acrylic and collage. And it's, I don't know, I don't have a title for this, I don't know what I'm doing. It just, like, it's just it's coming to you. Yes. That's what well, that happens to an artist. How but wonderful. I really work with design and color. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we have all our materials and ideas. The painting that was a series and two of the other in the series were published in a book. Um, I can't remember the name of the book. I've been published in several, The Art of Collage, or it, I would have to look it up. Anyway, I love the color in this one, and it has papers incorporated in here, woven in and out, along with the mixed media collage. That's wonderful. And the one behind you, that one especially intrigues me. Well, that I, um, I've i never shown anywhere. It's a, a mixed media collage, and there's a piece of Chine Collet in there, which is a printmaking um, process. I also have, you'll look close and you see faces and figures. And then people do see things that I didn't know were in there, and that happens. <laughs> That's what art is all about. <laughs> what, what it sees, what you see right. in it. So this is nice. Another area in the studio. The this is one of my assemblages that I've done. I've been in shows called Art of Trash, and and I incorporate whatever I find. Uh, this one in particular has everything from a crucifix to parts of inside a VCR. Um, and pieces picked up in Midas uh, uh, parking lot. <laughs> wow, that is interesting. Now, did you clean them up? I did, and then, I, but right now everything gets so dusty and kihe, I it's in for another cleanup. I had it hanging outside. Wonderful. Well, let's go look at here. We are in Balada's studio, We're looking at her latest work, which is. Very exciting with the fish. Got some wonderful warm colors in there. Why don't you describe it to us, Belida? Well, this is a Giataco, a fish print, which I did and then cut out and put it into this collage. I take all different papers, some papers I got when I was in Japan. Other, you know, papers are from wherever I've been, and they're... Um, Rice papers incorporated with uh, mixed media, it's so acrylic and collage, and it's, I don't know, I don't have a title for this, I don't know what I'm doing, it just... Whatever. It's just coming to you, yes. that's what so that happens I'm to an artist, how but wonderful. I work with design and color. Wonderful, wonderful. So we have all our materials and ideas. Tell us about this piece. This is a painting um, that I did. I was in an art show in San Miguel de Allende, and um, was 
sewing down there, and I pick up pieces from everywhere I've been. And this is the Bullfighter poster. There's a receipt from La Gruta, which was a spa that we would go to and swim uh, outside of San Miguel. This is a receipt from Posada Carmina, where we stayed, which was unbelievably cheap at that time. I'm sure it still is. And there's little bits and scraps of everything, including probably beer bottle tops that were found on the ground. I do a lot with found objects. But this is a good memento, and I really haven't wanted to sell that. I didn't want to sell that. I won't. <laughs> I just like it for myself. That's wonderful. Give people an idea of how they can become creative with things from their life. I know. They can take memory. I uh, do uh, mementos, memories. I've been doing this for years, and now they're doing classes and that <laughs> kind of thing. Scrapbooking memories. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, I, 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 I would say this is a little different class than scrap. <laughs> there are plus rice papers that came from Asia and Little. And tell us again about Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo was an artist who was horribly crippled in an accident when she was young. She was married to Diego Rivera, the mural painter. And um, I went to see her home in Coyacan, and it has the bed that she was in when she was crippled and painted, and her wheelchair and her paints, and it was really inspiring. And this is this is the art that you created from that inspiration. Yes, yes. Wonderful. It was a series of paintings I called Chaos. Uh, it was painted at a time in my life when I was divorced and I married a man with four children, and I had four children, and I painted painted in spite of it all. <laughs> and also, it was one of five paintings that were in the cult uh, Chinese Cultural Exchange Program in Taipei, Taiwan. And of those paintings, uh, I sold all but this one. So I shipped this from the mainland, and it, again, is one I really don't want to part with. I was in Madrid when the uh, war broke out, with when they, the U.S. invaded Iraq. And so I took newspapers that gave the date. It was March of 2003, and also protest posters um, that I put into this. And the Shin Kole kind of shows the confusion and all that was going on, but the whole world was protesting over there. And so I kind of joined the protesters <laughs> and made this collage, and then I can always remember that. Here we are, up at the Lettuce Stairwell. And explain this painting, please. Well, this says Widow D'Alessio, which was done in a printmaking class, scraps of it. And some chain clay and rice pa or papers from uh, I don't some Asian country <laughs> whatever. And um, I did a whole series when I was moved over here. I was a widow, which I still am, but it was the year 2000, and I um, expressed myself through these paintings, printmaking, and got through my widow. Celestial thing, and now I'm over it. Oh, that's <laughs> I just accept it. <laughs> this is a, an assemblage that I did after my husband passed away. I took all these mementos. He was my framer. That's in there, and different things. The little Milagro symbolizing eight children. Um, different ID tags he had of places that he worked, and just made a whole compiled the whole thing, number one grandpa. Um, then I have a little Buddhist angel that my friend Bjorn Scrimstead did. Uh, this painting is done by Phil Sabato, and I love it, love the color. This lady I traded at an art show for a painting, and she's just fun. Um, she's really fun. It's my little, I don't know, spirit. Something up there. <laughs> it's, it's something that would inspire um, the, the viewers to say, gee, maybe I can be creative. I think that's what you are, an inspiration.